Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're starting out with a bare face because we are going to be testing out the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation plus their concealer. I have been testing out this foundation for a little while now and I'm ready to share my thoughts with you guys. I also want to show you how it wears on my skin, how it wears throughout the day, how it applies. I want to give you guys the low down. So, Without further ado, so you guys do not have to look at this bare face, missing brow. <sighs> I've come to the conclusion that I have to stop sleeping on my right eye because my brow's falling off. <laughs> like I just need my hair over here, what is going on? But anyways, let's just jump right into this video and see if the new Morphe foundation is a hit or a miss. We're gonna start by priming our skin. When I was purchasing this foundation, the Morphe girl told me that you need to moisturize your face because this is a very matte foundation. So I've already put my moisturizer on, but I'm also going to be going in with a moisturizing primer, which is the JCAT H2O Dewy Primer. This primer is so good. I used to wear it so much when my skin was more dry, but now it's oily. But if you guys are looking for a very hydrating primer and very affordable, then this primer is for you. Mmm, smells so good too and it feels so refreshing. This is not a pore filling primer, so I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX Blurring Primer and fill in those pores in my T-zone because I got some big old ones. And then the last primer I'm gonna use is this primer water just to add more mm, hydration and because I just love the way that fills up my skin, so good. All right, so we are nice and primed. Now it's time for the star of the show to make its entrance, and it is this bad boy. So this is the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation. It is a full coverage foundation, 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistance, water resistance, free of oils, fragrance and parabens, and it's great for all skin types. I got the shade in F240. This shade, however, is pretty dark on me. I definitely need a few more days out in the sun for this to match me, but we will make it work because yeah. So the F240 is light medium with peach undertones. I had some Morphe girl help me try to find my shade because there's so many shades. In fact, there is 60 different shades of this foundation. So it was quite hard to find your right shade, but I had some girl match me and in the store it looked really good. But in this lighting, it's way darker than what I am. But like I said, we make it work. So I think my ideal shade was F220, but they were all sold out and I really wanted it. And the F220 was light medium with neutral undertones. I feel like I have more neutral undertones than peachy undertones, but it's whatever. So this kind of appears a little orange on me. Like I look super bronzed, <laughs> but the packaging reminds me of like the L'Oreal Infallible packaging. It's really nice. I like it, it's easy, squeezable, you can put it on your face, you can put it on your hand. You only need a little bit of this foundation. A little bit goes a long way. It has like a thin consistency. So I'm gonna be going in with my Wet Beauty Blender. I do not like applying foundation with a brush, so we're just gonna blend this bad boy out with a beauty blender. A lot goes a long way. So just patting this in. You guys will see that it's definitely not my shade. It looks like, especially on camera, pretty orange. I don't know how it looked good in the store, but not here in these lighting, but in this lighting, but it's whatever. Does anyone else struggle with finding the right shade? Because I don't think I'll ever figure that part out in my life. So that is like one layer on this side compared to this side. Look at that shade, it looks horrible, oh my god. I'm gonna do the other side now. I would consider this foundation pretty full coverage. Like, look at that. Where did my skin go? And because I put that dewy primer, it still looks a little dewy, but it definitely is matte. Like, after a while, after it sets in more, it turns even more matte. Make sure you bring it down your neck if you're this orange. <laughs> I look so orange right now. 
I like how this foundation applies on my skin. I think it blurs all my pores. It goes onto my nose so seamlessly. Like it just looks so good on my skin. There's been so many bad reviews on this foundation and I'm just like, I like it. I'm so, I don't know why you guys don't like it. So I'm just going in with the leftover of this and just going back over some areas that I want more coverage in. It's super buildable. It doesn't look heavy on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. And that is the foundation on the face. We are definitely looking more matte. The great thing about this foundation is like literally there is no tackiness to this foundation at all. Like you will not need to set this. All right, so that is the foundation. Just a hair too dark. If I had the F220 foundation, I think this, it would be a perfect match. This one is just like a, a summer shade for sure. I'm just really pale right now. So we are going to go in now with their new concealers. I got the shade C225. And just like the foundation, I got the wrong shade. And usually I don't mess up too bad on my concealers, but this one I messed up bad because the shade is just not light enough. It doesn't give me the highlighted effect that I need and want. So we're just going to combine this with a different concealer, but I'll show you guys how it blends out and tell you a few things that I've noticed when trying this out. It's just like this does not leave me bright enough. I swatched this on my hand and it looked pretty bright, but on my face, no. So this concealer doesn't feel thick. If I had to compare it to like the Tarte Shape Tape, it's not as thick as the Tarte Shape Tape. It's a lot thinner, blends easily. So the one thing I did notice with this concealer that I love so, 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 so much is that it does not crease in my fine lines underneath my eyes. It's incredible i've never had a concealer that didn't crease like as soon as i applied it this one is it's insane because i always have that issue and i always have to like bake it right away so it doesn't leave like crease marks i would consider this like a medium coverage all right that is what the concealer looks like you can't really notice it because like i said this shade is almost identical to my foundation shape. I'm just going in with this Born This Way concealer and I'm gonna brighten up this area. Much, much better. All right, so that is the base of the face. It's looking good. It looks so much better with that brightening effect because we have a little bit more dimension. When buying this, the girl also told me that you do not need to bake with this concealer. However, I do like to set the concealer and like kind of bake, <laughs> so I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna go in with my RCMA no color powder, but instead of letting it bake, I'm just like pressing it into my skin right away. That is the concealer all set. The whole face is complete. Just gonna add my bronzer and all that. And this is what we are working with. Like what pores, guys? What what pores? That is amazing. The concealer doesn't look heavy. The foundation doesn't feel heavy at the, on the skin. Like I said, you do not need to set this foundation at all. Like literally, what foundation? It doesn't feel like anything is on your face. But I just want to mention before I finish off the rest of my face, I want to mention this brow pencil that I also picked up from Morphe when I got these two items. And it is the Micro Brow Pencil and Chocolate Mousse. This brow pencil is so good i've used it so many times now and it's only five dollars if you're looking for a new brow pencil you should try that one out i'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face and then i'll show you guys the end product and how everything applied on top of it and i'm back this is the look i went very simple i'll tell you guys real quick what i have on my face i have my butter bronzer from physicians formula i have my wet and wild highlight on in the color boozy brunch and then i had this wet and wild color iconic blush on and apricot in the middle i set my face with my morphe setting spray if you guys didn't have that yet go buy it now like right now and on my lips, I'm wearing Kylie's Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the color Bare with Dose of Colors over the top lip gloss. And that's my face. And my brows are from the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. 
helpful. So my face is so affordable. It's all basically drugstore, which I totally forgot to tell you guys how much the Morphe foundation is and the concealer. So the Morphe foundation retails for $18 and the concealer is nine. So pretty affordable. I feel like the foundation price is a little high because I feel like Morphe is considered drugstore and usually drugstore foundations are like $10 around that range even lower sometimes so i feel like it's a little high it would have been better if it was like 12. this is it though now we shall wear it for like eight hours or longer depending on what time i decide to go to bed and i will continue to update you guys on how it's wearing here's the close-up Time right now is 1.17 and I will continue to update you guys throughout the day. So I will see you guys coming at you with the first update. We are right in front of a window, the best lighting in the house. And this is what she's looking like. So I've only had it on for about four hours. What time is it? It's 4.05. It's still looking good. The only difference is I can tell I'm getting shiny around the nose where I'm oily. But other than that, it's still looking very good. Looking fresh still. It's like the oil's not out of control. But um, later this evening, I'm sure it will be. Everything up close looks bomb. I'm obsessed. But that's my update. Well, hello guys. I am back with my last and final update. It is currently 9.41 and I am ready to take my makeup off and take these contacts out because they're super dry right now but i wanted to give you guys this last update on how it is looking we're looking a little dewy in the t-zone give you a close-up oh whoa we're looking real oily in this lighting we look super oily mainly like right there in my forehead and my nose <laughs> holy smokes my chin that's still highlight but I even ate and like nothing came off my chin. Let me get up close. See what it's looking like, you know? It's not breaking up on my forehead at all. Like everything is still super in place. The only area that's really breaking up is like my nose where it's pretty oily. Like it's just breaking up a little bit on the chin. Mm, it's not as smooth as it was earlier but my highlight and blush and contour are my bronzer is like still very prominent which is nice so we just need to um we need to try dabbing some of this oil off and seeing if we dab it off and powder if we're still in good shape i don't have an oil blotter thingy so i'm just gonna use some toilet paper just get rid of some of this oil i'm so oily nowadays and i hate it i used to not be this oily why am I oily guys? What happened to my skin? All right, that's blotted. It's looking better, a lot better now. Some of that oil is soaked up. So just around the nose is the only place where it doesn't look really good because I said it was already, it was like breaking up. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but like right here in my nostril area, it's breaking up. But my forehead, it looks super smooth. Still looks really good. My chin just like, you can definitely see the foundation a lot more on my chin compared to what it looked like earlier. So that is the foundation. That was wearing it for a little over eight hours and this is what my face looks like still. I think it looks fairly well. Yes, I was still really oily, but that is just what I struggle with. But I feel like I could easily manage that more with like baking my t-zone because I just patted the powder in and I didn't let it sit I need I usually always bake my nose because that's where I'm the most oily but I need to start baking my forehead because that boy was shiny <laughs> let me give you my final thoughts I truly love this foundation I love how it looks on my skin it will just blurs it out it's so flawless on my skin i don't think it's too heavy you don't have to set it it's the perfect kind of matte for me honestly probably gonna be my new favorite i can't stop wearing it i've already wore it four times now and every single time i've worn it i'm just like wow the concealer on, on the other hand i would say pass up on the concealer it's nothing special i feel like there's definitely a lot more concealers out there that are better 
but for nine dollars it's not terrible but i think that is all that i have for you guys i definitely recommend going and buying this foundation and trying it out for yourself if you have tried this foundation already or the concealer you should comment down below and let me know what you think of the foundation but that is all that i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed this little review slash wear test thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye hey guys hey guys hey guys hi guys hey 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 uh, oh my jesus <laughs>